Hello everybody, Jim Dramatic here. Welcome to Series 2 Heat C, uh, Robot Wars Reviewed. Um, I've got my uh, special guest again with me. would like to introduce yourself? I am Sam Elliott, 64. Ah, I'm nice. back! I'm back! <laughs> He's back, finally! He, he was, yes! Because you were supposed to be joining me and Anderson for the seri- for the grand yeah, final Heat I was, F. I was away. <laughs> it's fair enough. I can, I'm yeah. back now. <laughs> you're, back, you're back now, and that's all that matters. You're here and ready. <laughs> I'm, re- I'm, I'm ready for... The shit show that is series two. <laughs> that is true. Although in fairness, me and Masterath last week didn't or last time didn't have a bad heat to be honest. You. It wasn't the worst one. In fairness, one. this heat's actually pretty good as well. It's just the first heat that sucks. Like like in, in the early in the earlier heats. <sighs> Here's the thing, okay. Here's the thing. Alright. I know you guys ripped into Napalm quite a lot in Heat One. I I I, 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 I would have I would have my sound Napalm. Oh go on then. Okay. It's a marked improvement over Detonator, let's face it. Oh yeah, of course, I know that. And you have to think as well, like, going from Detonator to that, to that is a massive improvement. It actually works, for one. Oh yeah, of course, it didn't break down. Um, yes, it was a bit fortunate to win the heat, but at the same time, other robots in other heats have been fortunate to win their heats as well. That's true, that is true. Um, and... As for the, I don't know who, what, which one of you said it. It was about um, Napalm Two in Series Five. That's an entirely new robot, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I think actually they had two ones because they had one. They had one that was used for the extreme, and they had, they had, they had, they had yeah. another one that was basically the painted version of the old yeah, one. Yeah, they, they had a big black one. They had the big black one, which was the and the small black one. one. And the <laughs> small black. And I'm thinking the small black one was. That's what the beat Gemini. Yeah, that was that was all new. Whereas the big black one, which fought Thermidor. Yeah, that was the one. I think that was. I don't yeah. Know that was the, I don't know if that was the original one. Or no, I no, I, I think it was, it was the, still the. It was still the new one, but like it had been damaged at some point, and then they had to just repair it. And I think, I think actually, the one that beat got beaten by Thermidor was actually the old one painted, and the one they used for the series five and extreme was the small one, the new oh, okay, one. Fair enough. Beat. Yeah, fair enough. So I get mixed up because they used two, which is kind of confusing. But like um, Fighting Talk used two different robots. Yeah, it was it's, under the same name. Yeah, which yeah, was, it was odd. really confusing. Yeah. Anyway, back to back to Robot Wars. Back to Robot Wars Heat Series Two. <laughs> heat C. Good heat. heat. C. It's not a bad heat. heat, and we'll start naturally with the Heat winner, and they finally get a good series. Yeah, Mortis. Mortis. Come on. It's weird actually, because this is the only heat they managed to get out of the entire out of the heat at all, um, yeah. and unfortunately, in my opinion, it's the least in you know, creative design out of the lot. See, I completely got this. For me, Mortis Series Two was. The least pretty, because I, I I think Mortis is quite a, you know like quite a clever smart design. You know, it's always quite sleek and stylish. Yeah. This, I don't know why this one just bothers me a little bit. Maybe it's because it's so far off the ground at the front. There's something uninspired about it. It's like it feels like just like a box. Well, I think about it. it's still it's still obviously tremendously advanced for this time. Oh, of, oh, of course, yeah, of course, yeah. The thing is with with the series two version of Mortis, you look at. You know, look at series one. It's quite flat at the front. Same with series three and four. Yeah, it's got a very low front. Whereas series two, it looks a bit higher off the ground, and I think the paintwork doesn't really suit it. It's very bright. Yeah, this whereas all the other ones are darker. All the other ones are darker, aren't they? So I mean, I'm looking at that picture right now, and it is quite high off the ground at the front. Yeah, and, and I, I, I think you know the, the reason why. Again, I think the paintwork doesn't help it because it, all the other ones, because they're dark. They, you know, even if they are are quite high off the ground. You can't really tell that much. No. Whereas with this one, it's glaringly obvious. <laughs> yeah. Plus, also, this one I swear was the most un- most unreliable with its tracks because I think it, they f- practically fell off half the time on this, um... in, this in this particular, especially against the Napalm rematch. We'll, we'll get um, to that. We'll get to that when we get to that. No, but, no, um... and I'm talking, I was talking about the match in the um, in the Grudge match special. Like yes. that thing just fell off in that in that battle. And, and, True. And in series. I think series four was the only series which didn't really have a or series one and four were the only series it didn't have a bad track problem. Yeah, series three obviously it did. But it, 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 it lost because of its track. Yeah. Yeah, but, but series, series two Mortis. It was good. It was it was definitely it the was, best one like, in, terms was, of, in terms of actual getting how far. The it axe, got. the axe was working in that series, and that's probably the reason why it was so good. <laughs> it actually yeah. worked. It was quite disappointingly not as good the axe though, because I mean it was it did damage to some things like Matilda's camera, but then like when it was against Oblivion, it didn't really. It went straight through Oblivion, didn't it? A few, if there's a few holes, but you think something like that it would do a few more holes and just death. I them. think. The problem, the problem with Mortis's axe in this series, what and going on from here is because it was, it was a lot stronger in series one, that's mm. for sure. But it, I think that's what caused it to damage itself. Yeah, because it, it couldn't use it in the heat fire to make it exactly. Wedge. So, they, so, they, so they had to, they had to like kind of 
rebuild the axe mechanism and as a result maybe made it weaker but faster and more reliable yeah and i think ultimately they had to do that because otherwise there's no point of just having a weapon that's just going to break after one use yeah i mean it's weird actually because i i while this is the most successful mortis it's just the one i'm not the biggest fan of i don't really know why it's strange isn't it it yeah, is very strange it, it's you think oh it's a bit like behemoth as well oddly enough for yeah. the next heat they, they, it's the furthest they've ever got yeah, it's probably their worst they're the least you know inspiring robot and that's just kind of the weird thing about it well i suppose it's it's probably because they're uh, this this is their like first entry isn't it so. plus they, plus, they, plus they got quite lucky i think yeah, we'll, we'll get to next heat when we get to next heat. I'm of course sure, we will. I'm sure, I'm sure whoever's in next heat. Uh, Anderson's in next one. Oh, goody. He's going to have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moving, but... moving on from Mortis. We'll move on to Mortis, and we'll go to the runner-up, who was a very lucky runner-up, uh, to get this far anyway, um, Oblivion. And as I, as I, did, I did a preview, when I was doing a little preview of the robots last heat, believe it or not, this is a, this is a supernova. But yeah, they still run today. This is this is Team <laughs> Supernova. <laughs> I saw them in the new series. It didn't do as well in the new series, unfortunately, because Supernova is the most reliable robot ever. Well, but, it, had, it had a very tough first round in the new And series. it got very lucky by getting, basically, you know, wheeling on its own spinner into the pit. Yeah. But to, to its credit, it's a good robot. It just has a few reliability issues. This, this, is, this, is, this is their... Uh, Oblivion is is their humble beginning, and surprisingly, the most reliable robot. You say surprisingly, I don't, I, no, <laughs> not not really surprisingly, because obviously Supernova's you know really reliable and so and so you know well you know re- really <laughs> well well grounded and has you know has really good internals and doesn't die ever. No, nah, actually, Oblivion Two was always really unreliable. I mean, it broke down in both appearances. It appeared in series three and four. Yes. Pretty, pretty easily, didn't it? It wasn't like that hard. I mean, it, series four performance is probably the one of the weakest performances I've seen in, in, in the entire series. Just getting knocked and one hit. Funny, st- I always liked Oblivion too. No, I liked Oblivion too, but it just never ever worked. <laughs> yeah, and and I and I, I do like this team in general. You know, they they think outside the box. Obli- um, Supernova is obviously it's massively, amazing. De- massively destructive. I'm hope I'm really hoping if there is a second series, I'm fairly sure there will be for the mm. new series. That supernova will be allowed back in, and we'll, we'll see a modern supernova. That'd be awesome to see. Mm. But Oblivion, um, I mean, one thing about Oblivion that makes me laugh is that I'm surprised that even this was even a thing that could have happened. Is that you know the little light on top of it, the ambience light, that killed the robot? Yeah, like, <laughs> why, why would why would you have a light that does that? I mean, it's a robot. Okay, it's a robot's invertible, but if you turn the robot over and the light's on, it, it short dies. circuits the entire thing. Like, why would you even make that? Why would that even be? Why should that I be? I don't know, but it's just great. I love that. It's, it's so good. Imagine if they hadn't turned it on in the trial. They turned it on in the trials. That would have been mental. That would have been hilarious. But... <laughs> yeah, Supernova. Sorry, not Supernova. Oblivion. Sorry. More memorable. <laughs> yeah, Oblivion's awesome. I, I, I like Oblivion. It's, it's and the thing is, it's a low wedge. It's compact. It's mm. it, it's very fast around the arena as well. Twelve miles an hour, which I was surprised about. It never, which, it never showed up. The, very often. It, it did in the joust. In the joust, which, a little bit of the gauntlet as well. Before yeah, it, it is. It is good. It, honestly, it, it's a. For the time, it was actually quite a tiny little robot. Yeah, actually, it's one of the few robots that Matilda managed to pit. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> very rare Matilda pits anything, but she just kind of flicked it into the pit, which is quite funny. Yeah, yeah, but she, she got a kill this time, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just nice to see these guys, you know, constantly change their robot. It wasn't like something like Jed. Yeah, yeah the, you know, so, um, this, this team, uh, Suren Balendron and Thurigan, 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 something like that. Thavaragan. Th- Th- Thavaragan. I was quite. So I, had a, I knew it had a V and a G in it, but I didn't know what order it was. But um, yeah, they they've been around obviously forever. They've been around. This is uh, this is their first appearance, and they're still running today. They're one of the four most experienced robots in still running today. Sorry, five. Yeah, that's true. Actually, along with Bayamoth, like Bay- 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 Razor, and King B. Yeah, Razor and King B. Those sure. five have been around the longest out of anyone. It's, I don't think everyone forgets about it because the fact that Oblivion had three different robots. That, yeah, and they're all completely different that they yeah, forget. They, they, they look nothing alike. Each. No. But um, yeah, so they, they're a very experienced team, and they, I, I I enjoy their robots in in general. They they they, they, they always try something new, and that's yeah. that's what I've got. That's why I like them. Except in series one, which was it was just a wedge, but I mean series two, sorry, but. Yeah, but that's the thing. It, it was their first attempt. That's fair enough, and, and it's they actually were, not a bad. They were, still first at, they were still at school, I think, at that point. They said it was a school project. Yeah, it's still not a bad first attempt, though. Exactly, it's fe- it was effective. And it made a heat final, so yeah, that's true. Even it, okay, it, it did get through the battle pretty luckily, but at least it survived more. I think it would have. I think it would have won anyway. Yeah, it survived more to the very end without any kind yep. of problems. I mean, yep. Leapbot couldn't do that. Nope. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's nice to see Oblivion. You know, they they, they 
Spoilers, they don't have too much luck in the next two series. We'll get to that when we get to that. We'll get to it, yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, they make Supernova. If you remember Supernova, this is where they started. Yep, and it's a very very humble beginning, but it's uh, still a beginning. Mm, that is true. Uh, now, another robot's a veteran, which came back, which had seemed to have constantly bad luck in the last series. Dreadnought. The Beetle. And guess what? More bad luck happens. <laughs> In fact, I actually really like this version of Dreadnought. This is my favourite version of the, of all the Dreadnought machines. I agree. Um, series 1, obviously, they had a lot of reliability issues that I think it just, came, it just got too hot, didn't they? And it just burnt itself to, to a crisp. Hmm. And moving, we'll get to Series 3 and 4 eventually. But uh, Series 2 had a lot of power. The, the forks worked. Hmm. Uh, it looked cool. It had a big armor v at the front instead of like it was just it wasn't instead of just being fiberglass like it was in the previous series had a, it had a bit of armor plating on the front didn't it mm, yeah it did basically and it was fast and it it did well in the gauntlet it just pushed matilda out of the way like it wasn't even there and yeah yeah and in the trial again did, a, did okay pretty, in the trials did, did pretty good and then as you say bad luck we'll get to the bad luck why exactly but it I mean, this robot can't catch a break in the first two series, I swear. It really couldn't. It really couldn't. I mean, it doesn't really catch a break in the next one either, but we'll, <laughs> again, we'll get to that. Yeah, I will, we'll I, I, that. I will argue that the series three and four versions, though, I've never been any fan of those two. Cause... I, I, like, I like them, but the, I, <laughs> I think, it, I think, I think the, the body shell looks a bit more interesting. But... It's more interesting, but it, I mean, it's the only. I mean, series four was the only series that actually got KO'd in, like, properly. Yeah, that's a, that's a mad thing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it got beaten by a good rope, and in series. Three, it was in the worst heat of the series. I know. Which is it... unfortunate. Yeah. Anyway, Dreadnought, good team. It's not much to say too much about because we've already talked about it in the last series, that's the thing. So it's yeah, kind of exactly. like. It's, 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 it looks exactly it's, the same. It's basically unchanged except it's got the series three forks on it, basically. That is basically, it looks exactly identical, body yeah. shell wise. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll move swiftly on to another, actually, another veteran. There's a lot another of veterans. Vet- another veteran. There's a lot of veterans in this heat, and probably not the most memorable veteran, but still, you know, you can tell it's. They were, they were a heat finalist in the last series, though, weren't they? They were, they were yes. Uh, Ramesses II, Scarab Team, Team yep. Isis, which is pretty hilarious. Still, <laughs> still hilarious at the same it's, it's a reference to the to the Egyptian god. Okay? I, I I know what it is, but I don't care. <laughs> in in a modern context, it's quite scary, but you it's know, funny whatever. though. It's funny, yeah. In <laughs> yeah. hindsight, it's hilarious. Yeah, especially uh, nowadays. Carry on. I mean, I always tell that Ramesses II. You can tell they butchered Scarab for the weaponry. Yes, uh, they just the... literally cut it off and put it put it inside a the robot, didn't they? Yeah. But... Two, two problems out of this thing. Well, actually, one that's a pr- improvement, actually. They managed to make the weapon more, somehow more reliable, because in Scarab case, it kept falling down and then just having to use it as a ram because it couldn't lift it back yes. up again. Yeah, Ram T2 actually was able to lift its hammer back up, which is the, which is the step forward. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one one problem I had with Ram is the Two problems I had with Ram is the second. One, it's... the first one looked cooler because of the paintwork. That's true. And the other one was the tracks and drive system. Because uh, it was yeah. so slow. Actually, um, Scarab was also three miles an hour. I know, but which had wheels, which made it even weird. Like you think you make, you know, with wheels, it's easy to make it go faster. But no. I know, but it, it bothered. It just bothered me, and it, and it, I, I know Scarab was slow as well, but it, it's so slow. Yeah, it's it's probably uh... its big. It's his biggest problem. Plus, also when it's when when it was against Mortis, it has no pushing power because it has. Well, it, in, in fact, it did push. Uh, it pushed Mortis into the. Um... Into the CPZ, didn't it? And, and then it just broke and died. Yeah, that was true. I mean, that that, that, that I, I don't really understand Rami Sekerson's armor. It's plastic, isn't it? Is this like I, I imagine this is like early? Not, not obviously, it's not HDPE, which they use everywhere nowadays. But I imagine <coughs> it's like it's called poly. It's polyethylene. Yeah, which, which is which is what HDP is. How did it say polyethylene? Yeah, and it's supposed, I, to, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to stop sores. I think that was the point. But the problem the problem is obviously they use this nowadays like. I know TR2 uses it. I know. Oh, Gabriel, for example, from the. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah of course. Series. Exactly the same, isn't it? It's, it's, I think it's the same material, but the problem is that's designed to absorb shocks, not to be used, not to be used as like protection from like regular, like, you know, like an axe or a, or a cutter. It's designed to absorb shocks. <laughs> I saw how they saw it, but I don't really see how it was going to work, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 like, it's, very, it's a very average robot. Um... Uh, in fairness, it, like. It, it, the it tracks did, did right. help with the, the tracks did help with the pushing power because as you, as I said you know pushed Mortis back no problem. Mm. The problem was as well I had with Ramesses second it was it had a very flat side that it just wouldn't like if it, if it fell on its side that was it. You know? Yeah, but also actually another problem I had is that I think there's a massive gap underneath the robot. So 
a flipper could get underneath it. Whilst if it was like if it was all low to the ground, then it would have been fine. Although I will say, technically, Ramesses the second did the first self right. That is true, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. Also, in fairness, it was self inflicted, but it's funny. It was self inflicted, but it managed to write itself. Also, was... hand, hands down, the funniest way to get through the brick walls. Yeah, like... just, just <laughs> fall on your face, and then we... well, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a sec because there's there's a couple of other robots we have to get through we first. Do, we do, we do, we'd have to discuss on uh... the, the next. Well, I could segue, I guess, actually. Um, the next the next robot. We're going to It's one of those robots I think actually looked quite good but that was yes. it that, that was literally all it has going i for it. liked challenger challenger yes and actually this is the guy who steve doves dr- drove you back the mouse in series four one. Oh really yeah he's the only he's the only um ro- stock robot driver that made his own robot later on because i think uh, the person who drove WYSIWYG was on cruella's team but she was, wasn't the driver all right so she's like he's the only one actually consistently stayed on the team as a like head captain and driver, and also for Challenger too as well with his sons. Okay, that's fair. And um, so, so he he was he was obviously the, one of the Brits that went over to World Wars ninety six then. He must have been, or or, or at least was a, was someone who volunteered to drive it. But oh right, okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I know, I know I I don't know if he did or not because I know oh, okay. um, the person who drove WYSIWYG, Michelle Wheely, she was a, one of part of the team, not part of the actual American team. Right. But uh, Challenger itself is it looks it actually looks okay. Like, yes. Like when I first looked at that, I thought I was going to get very far in this heat. No. <laughs> I mean, there was there was potential there, certainly. Oh, there was know. certainly potential. Yes. You know, it, 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 no, I've seen worse robots compete in the series. Hmm. That is true. I mean, it is definitely one. It, it was definitely unlucky in some areas, but at the same time, it was quite ineffective because its high ground clear seemed to cl- seemed to really ruin it half the time. Like in the gauntlet, it just got stuck on the ramp after getting stuck and after getting stuck on the brick wall, which was you know fun <laughs> yeah true yeah I, I like challenger it was just very underwhelming like i don't know i think they had control issues as well because they, they couldn't drive in a straight line could they no they couldn't and they couldn't go up a ramp either so that was always a good sign uh it's just i, I like the series three version a lot more because it was lower to the ground it actually had well i, I don't i come up it had a lot of pushing power to watch that heat again but it, it seemed to do all right against atlas yeah but Magic Atlas was not thing that was not amazing anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah, that's it's just yeah, just Challenger. <laughs> it's just it's kind of forgettable, which is kind of sad. It's just Challenger. <laughs> just I can I, I kind of wish I saw him in Series Four, but oh well. Yeah, oh well. And then uh, speaking of disappointment. Oh, this the, hurts. The me bit, stale. This does this hurt hurts. me slightly. Griffin. Yeah, I, Griffin is great. Yeah, for those who don't know, this was cunning plan in this hit grand final. Was it never referenced once? They never referenced once because it was a reserve robot, which I find even stranger. Yeah, because it's good. <laughs> but it made the grand final. Does that not give you a free pass? Apparently sure. not. Apparently not, but Griffin, Griffin's got everything. It's got speed. It's got a low ground clearance. It's got a good lifter. Yeah, actually, though the ground, low ground clearance was a pro- does, does, is not a good thing in this in the gauntlet. Oh, not in the gauntlet, but in, in in the battles, it would have been it would have just smashed everyone. It, I think it would have won the heat had it you know made it to that point. Yeah, actually, the biggest problem I think because I remember all the people at some point mentioning that apparently they had problems gripping the floor in series two, mm. which is why they had to add some studs onto the wheels. But that's why in the gauntlet it tends to just not be able to control properly. Yeah, it was slipping all over the place, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it got, got it got pounced on because it couldn't go for the ram rig, it couldn't get past the brick wall because it has no low ground clearance to go over the ramp and the brick wall. Yep. So it had only one option and it really underwhelmingly just got pinned and couldn't do anything. Which is a shame because I think, again, I think they'd have done better than Matilda. Hell, just look at... Sorry, uh, again, sorry, again, the nerve challenges. Oh, they would have. I mean, hell, just look at the... Um, Look at the Grudge Match special where they actually tipped over, you know, uh, yeah, they Sergeant tipped over Bash. Sergeant Bash. They flipped over Sergeant Bash like it was nothing. It, it's why, you know, them and Body Hammer, both who didn't do very well, actually did well in that battle later on. And just kind of, it shows you why the Gauntlet isn't a good idea. Yeah. But in fairness, they had a chance in Series Three to prove themselves. We'll, and we'll, get, to, we'll get to Series Three when we get to Series Three. I know, but it was underwhelming in Series Three. I know, but we'll get to that when we get to it. We've got to, we've got to, got to save it, man. We've got to save it. Anyway, Griffin, save Griffin, head out in the. Uh in the gauntlet, sadly. Because yeah. I think, as I said, I think they would have won this heat had they got going. They could have beat, they could go at Mortis, because Mortis Axe they might just, not have hit they would, they would have just flipped it over. That's true, yeah. I mean, Oblivion might have been a problem. Dreadnought can be flipped over. Ramsey II can be flipped over. Challenger can be flipped over. It would have, I'm convinced Griffin would have won this heat had it been working, but... Easily. Say la vie. Say la vie, and 
I'm trying to think, was there any highlights in the goal? I mean, uh, Ramesses... Mortis, actually, Mortis having to go in the house robots is always that was, a That was quite nice. It was quite nice, wasn't it? You know, got, did a bit of damage to Matilda's bum. Actually, yeah, it, uh, broke, it broke the camera on Matilda, which is pretty funny. Yes. And it also, uh, who, no, Ramesses pulled the chain out of Matilda's chainsaw, didn't it? I think it did, but I think that was an accident. It was, it was like we yeah, had a sword. Yeah, it, 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 didn't, it didn't mean to do it, but it, it still did it, didn't it? So. Uh, speaking, of, speaking of Ramesses' second, though, it highlight was definitely... The funniest way to oh, to break down that brick wall is to just and it self righted. It, um, it did. It landed on its face and it pushed itself back. That's a self. And that and that somehow managed to f- break the wall down, which was quite hilarious. It just kind of headbutted the wall. Yeah, that's, that's basically what it did. It just it just nutted the wall. Yeah, and actually, Dreadnought is a funny one as well because it just hit. It went charged at the brick wall. One brick down. Yeah, that, just, just one brick. Just That's one a, brick that went down. I don't know how how it managed to do that with such a massive robot, but it just yeah, just one brick, and then it, and they went. And they went Actually, they could have had a massive problem if they went decided too late to go around the other way. Yeah, they could have been stuck, couldn't they? Yeah, they they got very fortunate they didn't get pounced on like Griffin or something, or or Oblivion actually got pounced on as well. True, but, that's very true. But um, yeah, the Gordon one wasn't too interesting at first, but I mean, it was most you know Challenger, Challenger got stuck. Oblivion went in the pit. Dreadnought, oh, was it was managed to finish it somehow. Yeah, Dread, Dreadnought just powered through everyone. Yeah. Mortis finished and then took on the house robots, and that was it really. Ramesses second got quite far actually. It did get quite far, but it got flipped on its side. Yeah, actually, no, no, that was in the that was in the trials. I thought it got flipped on its side as well. In... No, no, it got it got it lifted up by Matilda, but it didn't oh, flip yeah, flipped it. over. Yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, so unfortunately, Griffin has to go out and fought, which is really annoying. <sighs> because given Challenger or Griffin, I know I'd rather see you next round, but yep, me too. <laughs> Although amazingly, I don't think it would have done that well in the trials either, because the given the, what the trials were. No, were. that's that's true. Uh, it's it's, a, it's another not sumo. No, it's Joust. Which it, there's like three not. There's like two not sumos. Is this in King of the Castle? I suppose. What's it called? Is what the one last week as well? What was it? Um, what was it last week? Oh, uh, Tug of War. Oh yeah, same it's set. Basically. Sort sort of like that, isn't it? It's the same, but the pit replaces the little tart board in the middle. Yeah. And it's not the worst trials, but I think the biggest problem with this trials is that while it's not that unfair, it's it... not sumo. It's just not sumo. <laughs> it's quite boring because all they yeah. do is run into each other, and then uh, in this kit, in this heat. The only diff, they they basically got the se- like three robots got basically the same distance. Yeah, because all uh, they did was run into Matilda and then get flipped off the edge, and that's all they yeah, had to that, do. That's the, again, like I, I know it's it's trying to be different, but it's it's basically just sumo. They might have, they might as well have just done sumo again. Yeah, and it's just kind of it. I mean, it all depends on how quick you are as well. Yeah, because if you can more, get to the beginning, yeah. if you can get to the middle, you're fine. Yeah, yeah and the re- the reason, and obviously in this Mortis went through because it got stuck on Matilda. Hmm. Um, Actually, it's... one thing, one, one one thing that was kind of annoying because um, Jonathan Pierce was saying, "Oh, Mortis is pushing back." No, Matilda's dragging you in a circle. It, it was pushing back. It was it was pushing back a little bit, but it's, yeah. How was yeah. it pushing back? It was like on like barely on its on its um on its tracks, just on the floor. It was it Matilda. Was, it, was, it was doing a little bit. It was doing a little, a little bit. bit. I don't know. I mean, Oblivion's is pretty funny because they again got upended and the light broke, which could have ruined the entire room. And the challenger with a minus score. <laughs> Actually. So... <laughs> Yeah, here's the here's the thing about Challenger's minus score. It's not the worst minus score in this event. Oh no! There are two others that managed to get worse than Challenger who got we'll a get minus. To them. We'll I get can't. To them. That'll be Anderson's heat, I think. He likes that heat. Anderson's getting, get get, getting all the heat. He's getting all the good ones. <laughs> he's yeah. getting all the heat. I get left with these. I get left with Mortis. Great. There's nothing wrong with Mortis. There's nothing wrong with Mortis. Carry, carrying on. Uh, uh, Ram- Ramsey the second got a bit bullied by Matilda. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and look, lucky that Matilda couldn't get flat on and push it backwards. Really. I don't know why they added the mace because it didn't really affect anything. <laughs> I, yeah, I think the idea, as JP said, was to try and snag on and just try and ho- hold on for dear life. But once it did much there, I mean, it, it got pretty much got beaten by Ratilda. <laughs> yeah, but it was just lucky that Challenger was pretty bad at getting up ramps. Otherwise, I mean, that's one. Of, that's one of the biggest problems I think with Series Two's robots and Series One's that a lot of robots would have a casters at the front, and that means they yeah. can't go kills very well. And as well as that, like, it wasn't even no, like. In future series, you see the casters as the balls, wouldn't you? Whereas in this series, it was still like the caster wheels. Uh, trolley wheels, basically. Yeah, and the problem with that is that they offer a lot of ground clearance at the front, and they can things just, just drive underneath. Like Challenger had a massive ground clearance. Oh, it, it, oh, like, it did. So you know, it was it was always going to be flawed. I mean, Challenger had a twenty-five millimeter ground clearance. That's, That's high. A yawning chasm. That's you a can yawning see it. Chasm. You yeah. can see it. That's how much you know it's high. Yeah, yeah. I know Dreadnought did as well, but that... seventy-five millimeters for my Dreadnought. Seven centimeters. No, seventy-five millimeters. That's seven centimeters. Yeah, seven and a half centimeters. Yeah. 
But you can enormous. see it. You can I, I see it hand, though. I can get my hand in that. You can see it though. That's the thing. I, I, know, I know. Mortis is fifty. I know. Well, I mean, there's a lot of high ground clearance in this one. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, we'll so move, we'll, we'll move on from a uh, joust. It's so, just, yeah, so it's just, just it's just not it's just not sumo. <laughs> now, so challenger managed to get out by going backwards. Yep. Uh, which is not the best way to go. Nope. <laughs> and then we have the first battle, Dreadnought against Oblivion. And the removal link basically <laughs> fell out. Because they put... I, I, I know removal links weren't a thing at this point. You know, obviously that came in as a safety measure in Series 4 when uh, after the whole uh, thing in Series 3 where someone got injured in the pits. Oh yeah, of course. Because uh, And then that's why obviously Rex Garrard left the sport. We'll get, back, we'll get to that eventually. Of course. But this is basically what happened it's, it's essentially like it, in a modern context it'd be if the removal link fell out before the fight started that's basically what happened yeah the, 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 the key that starts the robot fell out <laughs> which is really unlucky it is really unlucky and actually the thing about it is even more unlucky is the fact that it didn't come out like during the battle it came out when they were putting the shell on yeah it just fell off before the fight started would it have won probably not I don't know. I mean, it was it, it was in during the battle when when Oblivion came up to it. It was able to go underneath it pretty easily. Yeah, Dread- Dreadnought had the power, but I think I just think that that Oblivion was too low and would have just pushed it in the pit eventually anyway. Or the or the PPZ, <laughs> or the PPZ, which eventually caused Dreadnought to get deshelled. Oh, and... actually, actually, it's one of the few times that a robot got quite destroyed in this battle. In yeah, the whole front forks mechanism got. Oh, crushed. they crushed that. They, they this. I mean, uh, Dreadnought. Armor like the top of the arm came off, and the circuit lot still had that. As you said in the first two podcasts, Killer Lot is OP. He is OP in this particular series, and Killer Lot is OP. He needs nerfing, and he gets nerfed eventually. But I think the only other robots that get worse destroyed than Dreadnought are Forklift and Flirty Skirty. Yep. I've never seen. I mean, that, in series two, that's shocking, but like now, it's like uh, <laughs> yeah. it's not a big deal. We've seen nuts get destroyed, so it's not a big deal anymore. Uh, but uh, RIP, RIP. I said no. Rip, nuts, nuts is working again. Nuts, it's working. Nuts. It. It's working. It was. It was doing. It was in the um the live event this this weekend, which was as of recording this. This is the third of October, so it was this weekend just gone. Hmm. It competed at the live event. Is it Stevenage? Oh, that's nice. Good so it was. It was. It was fighting. It's fighting again, which is good. Yeah, but uh, back to Dreadnought and Oblivion. Back I mean, this is. I mean, this is. This is. Obviously, a very easy match for Oblivion because they didn't have to do anything. Yep. That's uh, there's nothing we really need to discuss. This no, really, is there? no, not really. I mean, the next battle, some, more, some slightly more stuff happens. Mortis against Ramesses the second. Not again, not the most interesting battle in the world. This one because it's just kind of a pushing match, and then Ramesses the second breaks down. Mortis had problems, didn't they? They had a few problems. Yeah, they, I know. They, dri- they have driver shoes, and they weren't. They they said that they weren't like you know, hmm. you know, fully functional. And obviously, Ramesses were on top. I would say until they broke down. It was a shit. It was a drive system broke down. Ramsey second, from what I remember. Yeah, so they they were on top, which would have been a massive upset had they gone and beat Mortis. But mm. well, it's, it's, well, not really because they both made the heat final. But anyway, um, yeah, Mortis were unlucky and were were lucky to go through. They were actually, yeah. But, but Ram- I think I think the right robot won. The better robot won, definitely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ramsey second is obviously inferior to Mortis. <laughs> I mean, being upset though again if they lost. No, that's but, very true. That's very true. But the, the heat final actually was nice to see Mortis get its axe finally into play against, yeah, for against the first another. time since Leebot, we finally saw Mortis do something with its axe against Oblivion, and it was almost got them in the pit at one point, which I was quite surprised. I, for, I forgot that happened when so I watched it. I was like, yeah, they, they almost pit them. Yeah, but they did, uh, Oblivion had, did some good driving. You know, Surin at the controls did a good job to keep it out of the way. Hmm. It, it lasted till the end, no breaking down. Yep. Huge credit to, to them to, to keep it going against a superior robot, but ultimately there was only going to be one winner, and it was Mortis. It was actually, yeah, the better robot won in this particular league, obviously, but it was a very, very brave attempt by the Oblivion team. Yep. Right, honestly. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and you can't take it away from them. They managed to get to this far with a yep. robot that essentially is just a wedge with nothing and, else on it. And they did a good job. They did a very good job. A very good job. Um, so yeah, thank ro- fact finally Mortis got a win in a heat, which is the last time it'll happen. So savor it. Yep, absolutely. Make the most of it. <laughs> if, you, if, if you exclude the War Independence, which is technically they won that heat, as if it was a, if you call that a heat, then they sort of did. I mean, I, yeah, in the end, it's on a high note, which is always nice to have. Yeah, they did. But this is this is this is the peak of Mortis. This is this is the Mortis series. This is so. And this is sad. Well. It's sad considering they had a lot more. Um, weaponry and engineering to it, and I guess money doesn't buy you wins. Clearly, 
Clearly not, no. Although in the case of Behemoth, it clearly didn't either. <laughs> well, well, we'll get we'll get to. Uh, well, we'll that's get next. To that is actually next heat because it, it does. It is next heat. We've got some interesting competitors. So we, yeah, we have we have Behemoth, which is just it's it's it, it's getting there, but it's, it's not. It's it's a series two. It's a series two first entry robot. Let's just let's yeah. just leave it at that. We have the Red Dwarf no, um, <laughs> named robot. I mean, In- oh, the Inquisitor. I love that. I love the fact so... that they actually got it from the fact that they got it from Red Dwarf. I'm, I'm sure they mustn't have known that Red, that Craig Charles was going to be presenting this. Actually, episode. one of th- one of three Red Dwarf named robots. The second one was obviously. Um... In a f- it was the next series, Scotter's Revenge. Yep. And also we have one of the Ant Weights, Legion. Yep. All all named after Red Dwarf stuff, which I, I quite you know, I quite like. Yep. Uh, uh, we have we have we have the one of the most unique robots ever entered, obviously, the uh, can articulate in all directions and have a hair done at the same time. Billy <laughs> I, I, I actually like that, I'll be honest. I, I, I like I, 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 I like I like the fun it's, it's a fun robot as well. It's a fun robot. Um we have the most overrated robot in existence, I mean Razor. <laughs> What Fluffy's not Fluffy's not in the next team. What are you talking about? Oh no 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 no! That's pretty. Uh, <laughs> okay, the thing. Okay, you can't call Razor overrated though. That's the thing because it's won everything. It, you can't call it overrated because it has won everything. Yeah, I guess I guess I guess people like overrate its ability to do damage. I guess I don't know. Yeah, so I, I, mean, I see it. Like... In fairness, in this series, it did do a lot of damage. <laughs> it did, but and, yeah. it, and, it, and it had enormous potential in quite honestly razor would have been as tough to beat this series had it not died but we'll get, <laughs> we'll get to the next heat one we'll get to the next heat we get, we get body hammer who isn't copy co- copper colored anymore I, <laughs> I love body hammer so much in this series it's so I, I, it's great and the weapons do nothing but it's just got so much power it doesn't matter it's got so much power it's got a nice wedge it's just it's just great i'll just say spoilers though the five millimeter ground clearance is its undoing in the end yeah it would have been good in the battles but Yes, and then oh, and, see them. and lastly, just just Elvis. It's, it's Elvis too. Uh, thank you very much. Although it is a lot, <laughs> although I like it a lot more than the first Elvis because I stated that Elvis is one of my least favorite robots. Elvis two is fine. I don't Elvis mind Elvis. Great. Elvis is great. It has it has it's the, it is Vegas years. <laughs> Plus, also, it actually has uh, weapons that do anything. But also, it actually had the shell didn't show what's electronics randomly. That, 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 I, I like that. I like the design of Elvis because, like the, the original design of Elvis, because it had the yeah. whole lifting thing. It was cool. And the lifting thing was good, but when you expose your electronics, that's not a good idea. Well, no, but it was. It was just. It was a fun robot, wasn't this face? It was fun. Uh, I guess. I just. I still hate it though. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, that's fair but, enough. But that's, but that's next time. That's next time. That is next heat. Anton will be there. Um, I'm sure he'll love seeing Elvis and Razor in the same heat. Oh yes, you will. And and, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that 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 was that was the heat overall best robot one. Yep, and really great. And there was a lot of some some new robots that will come back. And I think I think do, is this one of the few heats where every robot comes back again in the future, or, is, or does Ramses not bother coming back? Oh again? no, Ramses second don't come back again. It's the last. Oh, so, this is a, they didn't a they didn't try for the series. Yeah, this is the last one. That's a shame. So that's the end of Ramses. But, uh, ever, but everyone else, we get Challenger two, we get Mortis, we get Griffin. Yeah, we get we get um obviously we get Oblivion who didn't make it to the main competition, but we still get to see him in series three. Yep, and we've got uh, obviously uh what's it called as well? Um Dreadnought. That's the one, yep. Yeah, we get we get all those guys returning. Varying degrees of success. We'll get to that. <laughs> Actually, now I think about it, yeah, none will make it past the back heat. Oh, what a shame. Oh Never well. <laughs> oh well, oh well. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, was th- 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 thanks for joining me for this heat. Anytime. So it wasn't too much to set talk about because it was quite a solid heat. So it wasn't too yeah, much really. There's there no there's no you know controversy really. No, it it's... was just it was just, it was quite straightforward, cut and clean. Mortis was the best robot. Mortis won. It's very rare you get a heat in series two where you can say that. Oh, there's many, many, many more to come. <laughs> I, th- I think the bullshit appears back again when we get to uh, Panic Attack's heat because there's a bit of gauntlet stuff going on bit of uh, shenanigans mm. <laughs> mm, we'll get to that when we get to that <laughs> we will but uh, yeah so thank, thanks for joining me and uh, I'm, that's alright and uh, I'm Jim Dramatic signing off and I'm Sam 64 and we'll see you next time for whatever's next bye